In this session, you'll be looking at setting goals for your child. And let's, let's face it, all of you are subscribed to this program and have joined uh, the program because a major priority for you is achieving goals for your child. So welcome to this session. Uh, your facilitator in a few moments is going to help you uh, think through how to make those goals achievable and break them down into small achievable steps. Uh, but in the meantime, I'd like to just talk through a few things against which you can measure your child goals to make sure that what you try to look at achieving in this program is really achievable, for example, in a month. And why we say achievable in a month is we want you to experience uh, using the five windows, five windows to break down your goal so that you can look at how thinking through all of those steps has helped you to achieve your child goal. Uh, the next thing, does it make life easier at a particular time of the day? So your day has to be improved by the goal that you're setting, not just only in relation to your child's development, but for your daily routine, your family routine, it has to make life easier at some part of the day. Um, it has to look at your child's strengths, so focus on your child's strengths or start with your child's strengths or incorporate those because it's going to be then easier and more successful if you look at your child's strengths and include those. And then um, it also has to involve others. So it's not just you, because often um, I found myself that I was taking on the full responsibility of achieving everything, and what I wish that I did better was involving others. So uh, bear that in mind and, and think about whether or not you can involve others in, in this goal as well. And then finally, does it fit with your family? If you're having a baby or if you're moving house or if you know someone has just come out of hospital, then maybe now is not the right time. Think about how this goal will fit in with your family and your family routines. Is it achievable in a month? Uh, does it involve others? Um, most importantly, does it include and involve your child's strengths? If you are working with professionals, then here's where you might like to talk to them because professionals can be really helpful in helping you to understand if you've selected um, the right first step. Professionals can help you to break down your goal and really check in that the next step that you've selected is really the, the, the best step for your child and breaking down the subsequent steps so that you know you've got a pathway to achieving your goal overall. Uh, so finally, I'd just like to uh, highlight the importance of using your child's strengths. So when my son was little, I understood that he loved performing and that was a really important, wonderful strength of his. Uh, but I often wish as he got older that I, I focused a little bit more on his strength and really nurtured that because I think that would have given him the confidence, the capability, the encouragement, you know, to be who, who he is and, and I think instead what I did is what parents naturally uh, tend to do which is focus on what our children can't do and then the next thing they can't do and then the next thing they can't do rather than really spending some time doing that but also focusing on nourishing and nurturing their child's strengths so that they can really grow up to be happy, confident, capable, thriving uh, young people and, uh, you know, and that we can uh, celebrate and um, be nourished by seeing them achieve the kinds of things that they're achieving that they're good at. So these are the kinds of things that I think that will help guide us as parents to create a wonderful life for our children, both now and in the future. And to help us in doing that, it's also um, useful to look at uh, and focus on outcomes. So what kind of outcomes do we want for our children? In Australia, we're going to look through uh, and share some of the Australian outcomes for children. They're pretty similar again internationally. There might be some variation, but staying focused on those outcomes of independence, of you know having friendships, of you know, having experiencing well-being. You know, um, you know, they're the kinds of things I think that these outcomes are going to show you that are are really important for us to stay focused on. And when setting your goals, think about do those goals uh, actually lead you towards those outcomes? Good luck.